there anything now, in your, like I said, in your third season that has changed in your approach, whether it's to practices, to games, um, anything that you've learned as you've gone on where you've, you've adapted or, or changed or found out about yourself and being a head coach after third, three well, seasons? Well, we're not going to change how, how our plan. We're always going to try to perfect our plan. Um, um, you know, we thought about changing the morning practices. I think the morning practices has been an advantage for us. Uh, so we did not change that, okay? But those, those are the type of things that we got to think about as we go um, throughout every year. Um, you know, uh, our approach and how we practice. Uh, we're practicing a little bit faster to try to get more reps. The reason why we're practicing faster to get more reps because we've got some young guys that need more reps. We've got to get more players reps. We've got now, we got third and fourth teamers that need reps. Um, in the past, we not haven't been that deep. I mean, it wasn't, it was, we didn't need a plan to get third and fourth teamers ready because we didn't have third and fourth teamers. We, we have to have a plan to get those guys reps. And, and you only have a certain amount of time to practice. So we've got to practice a lot faster to get those guys prepared to, to, to play. There's a lot of talk about, of course, the improvement from last year to this season. Without putting a win number on it, what, what do you look for? And Mitch Barnhart said it too. He's not worried about looking at wins. He wants to see improvement. When you look at the team, what are the areas where you say that, that will be improvement over last season that you're hoping to see? Well, we want to improve in every area, offense, defense, and special teams. Um, you know, we have, to improve offensively, we've got to be able to throw the football. Um, um, we, we were not very good at advancing the ball by throwing. Uh, we've got to be, while continuing, continuing to, to run the football the way we have the last couple years, um, but we've got to be able to throw the football. We've got to be able to create some big plays in our offense. Um, again, you don't score average, average two, two uh, minutes to scoring drive if you don't have big plays. Okay, and I've said this numerous times that um, 70 yards, you very seldom see a team drive 70 yards more than once a game. Why? Because 18 to 22 year olds, they are going to screw something up if you have to keep snapping the ball 12, 15 times. So we got to have, uh, we have to create opportunities to get, have some big plays in our offense because it's so hard to drive the ball uh, on people. But uh, we need some plays of over 25, 30 yards uh, a game. All right, only got a couple of minutes left. Mm -hmm. I think we went to Twitter and got a couple of you, uh, fan questions. Mm -hmm. um, first one. None of them are from our players, right? None of them are from, as far as I know. Uh, Man, I, I, Twitter's getting, getting ready yeah, to be off limits. They, they've been good on Twitter lately. I think they got a talking to probably, right? Yeah. Uh, Patrick McCormick said, how do you keep from getting upset at some UK fans when you hear them being negative or things like that? Do you just tune it out or? How does that bother you, or how do you just push aside and just? Well, I, first thing, I got too many other things I got to worry about. Um, I mean, it's uh, the time that I spend and uh, being upset at a fan or somebody else uh, outside of our program, it takes away from me having an opportunity to do something productive to, to try to get this, uh, to put a productive pro product on the field. So. Um, like I say, I, I don't try not to spend time on it. I, mean, I got, again, t way too many, uh, uh, too many things yeah. that I got to take care of in getting this, this program headed in the right direction. All right. The other one is, any chance you're going to try to get Willie Cauley-Stein out on the football field playing wide receiver? He had some highlight tapes of the football seven-footer from the basketball team out there running around. Any chance you, you're going to try to get him out there? <laughs> well, 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 you, you know what? Ken, he and I did talk this, this summer. Uh, oh, I was just yeah. saw him. In passing, they, they yeah. work out over here sometimes. And I saw him in passing, and one of, um, I think the kid from Clarksville said, you know, he scored 10 touchdowns last year. Yeah. And I thought maybe we we're on fade routes because yeah, he's yeah. six, six, 10. But he said he caught him on slant routes, yeah. which that tells you how tough yeah. the kid is. Get on you know? YouTube with mixtapes with the music and everything. He's, it, got, he's got some highlights. Um, yeah. All right, last question, and we'll let you go. You can, don't worry, you can be straightforward, honest, you don't have to be political or anything. You're going to beat Louisville, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it'll be an exciting game. Um, regardless of who's supposed to beat who, how bad, all that stuff, it will be an exciting game. It always has been, uh, and, and it will continue to be as long as we're playing. And that's one thing I, I'm happy we're doing. We're playing the University of Louisville. All right, well, Coach, thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. your time. Thank you. And uh, best of luck. All man. right, thank, thank you. you.